Hello, and welcome back to Little Mook on WizIQ in June 2013. And today is June 12. And look at the number of participants since uh, May when I first announced the course. 1908, that's a nice number. It must have been a good year, too. Lots of participants, lots of things going on, and everybody is involved. In other words, people are determined to fully understand Moodle, and not just Moodle, to try to navigate this massive open online learning environment. And I call it a Moodle, not a MOOC, because it's not really a course, it's actually a few courses. And let me just uh, take you around. So this is the WizIQ course area for the live sessions. And the reason we've added the live sessions here is that you can get them, access them at any time, next year, the year after. And on the Moodle, everything is uh, temporary. So this is one of the uh, advantages of having WizIQ, and I'm very grateful to WizIQ for uh, taking the initiative and hosting the Moodle MOOC. So let's take a look at the areas. There's a course feed, which is a discussion form, and you can start a discussion right here, add your thoughts. Next is the courseware, and let's take a look at the courseware very quickly. Courseware, now this is really important because this is gonna stay here. I'll rearrange it, I can move things up and down, but basically it's divided into tutorials, which are the lectures, and live online classes that are scheduled to come, and of course, the recordings. Now, take a look at some of the tutorials, Moodle MOOC, interactive syllabus, conversations. That's another uh, Google Drive. Also, um, a class, the first one, it's now a recording, but you don't see that it's a recording. You simply go in and uh, you'll see that it's a recording. The recordings can be downloaded. There they are. There is Martin Dogiamas who was there for the uh, opening ceremony. You can download the recording and so on. So everything is completely free and available for your enjoying, for your pleasure. All right, so let's go back here, okay, and uh, see what else we've got here. All right, so that's the course where. Okay, let me go back to the course. So I've got a few courses. Okay, so navigating web technologies and navigating the internet in general is something that comes with experience. The more you're exposed to it, the easier it'll be for you. Trust me, it becomes easier. But there's no need to panic because it's just a learning environment. You know, nobody's hurting anybody. So enjoy the process and see what you can get out of it. All right, so that's it basically the only thing that you might want to know is if you want to contact me contact provider if you want to look at the other course learners if you want to know more about the course here are announcements videos that are set up if you want to leave the course you're welcome to leave at any time simply course settings a leave course sorry in addition, you can go to the course settings. This was at the top. Let me just point it out here. If you want to get notifications, if you don't want to get notifications, if you don't want to get notifications, take a look at here. Send or not send. You decide you're in charge and then save. Make sure that you set your WizIQ account to your current time zone, wherever you happen to be if you're traveling, to that time zone so you can get notified two hours before each of the live sessions. All right, so let's take a look at the rest. And where is the rest? Well, the rest is on a syllabus. And here is the syllabus. There is a link to the syllabus. It's also on the WizIQ Moodle Mood on WizIQ. Now take a look at these, okay? And you'll see the table of contents. You're invited to access the table of contents. You see there are a lot of people right now. There are people here all the time. They're trying to learn how to navigate. There are new people coming in, and that's wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful because it's learning together. And that, to me, is really the essence of life. <laughs> but, okay, I think learning is really an important part of what we're doing here. All right, because we're learning as we go. All right, so take a look. You click on one of these. Okay, and this opens up. You click on it. It'll take you to the description. All right, 
Next, I want to go to the uh, tasks. There are tasks. Yes, you get certifications. How do you qualify for certifications? Find out on this interactive. Okay, it's interactive. Here are the tasks. It's completely interactive. You may ask questions, and people do, and you'll get a response here. Victoria's asked a question. Okay, questions are for you. How do you ask a question? Very easy. You simply go to two areas comments here or in the file all right you click on it and look what happens you can have conversations with me as well if i happen to be online so just ask your question right there or you can click on something you don't understand like was iq course and then you simply go to uh, insert comment and you add your comment that's easy okay so let's take a look at the uh, we're looking for the navigation all right how to navigate this MOOC okay right here so let's take a look at that okay click on that it'll take you here and here are the areas on the course okay there's the WIS IQ and explanation just like I explained I'll scroll down and then there's Moodle experience you want to Moodle ex you want to experience Moodle and see what it's like there are three courses one course is for managers Another course is for experienced teachers who've had editing rights. Another one is for beginners. So join one of them, and that's how you're going to learn about Moodle. And it's learning together. That's what it's all about. And you ask questions, because the minute you ask questions, you'll get answers. If you don't ask questions, you don't want to know anything, and you don't want to be bombarded with information unless it's coming from your need. Where there's a need, you will learn. If there's no need, there's nothing to learn. You won't remember it. All right, so next, there the activities and then the tasks, okay? And you'll be going into these areas for every week conversation. And once you go into the conversation and discuss the different tasks, you can then submit. And here's explanations on how to submit the tasks, okay? You'll find the areas for submission for week one. Where do you submit? You submit your task right here okay here's the link and so on so let's go to the discussions here let's take the discussion for the first week all right so let's go there okay this is a Moodle what is a Moodle it's a course management or learning management system and people are asking questions here because this is a conversation area all right so let's take a look at home home is where we start always go to home on any website Okay, if you want to learn how to navigate. And as I said, it comes with practice and a lot of uh, self-talk, so relax. Okay, so this is uh, what it looks like. Okay, uh, here are the three courses. There'll be week four is WizIQ. You'll learn how to use WizIQ. You'll be able to create classes as a teacher, invite uh, your colleagues and so on, and have a real lesson. And there is Moodle MOOC on WizIQ. This is just a discussion area. And here we are, Moodle for Managers. That's the top class. Okay, you'll get there, don't worry. Moodle for Experienced Teachers, next stage. You'll get there. And if you're here, that's the best place to be because you're learning Moodle 2.5 from the very beginning. Keep asking questions. That's the way to go. For news, you can get news down here. You can also get news on top here. The top right is where I like to keep the latest news okay so that's it explanations on the left keep reading it's about reading lots of reading you don't like to read other uh, recordings as well okay but basically learning online is about a lot of reading okay we're gonna go to the conversations there they are so access them learn enjoy and then if you're interested in practicing on your own you don't have to but people are doing this even though they're complaining that it's really difficult but people do love difficulty, but they also like to complain. The Moodle practice area you're in as a teacher, and uh, you get rights to play around. And people do like to play around. Let's take a look at it. There's, of course, the interactive syllabus is right here. And there's also the YouTube playlist. So read and find out what's here, because it's worthwhile. Don't ignore things like that. A menu is there for a reason. Navigation on the left. is Everything's here for a reason. So don't be lazy, read it. Okay, here you have to uh, get an account. If you don't have one, the Moodles are not connected. But then things aren't connected. Facebook's not connected. Well, sometimes it is with Twitter. But it's not connected with other things. Your email's not connected with your Facebook. Okay, so keep that in mind. 
Um, so we have lots of accounts in different places and not one account for everything. Okay, so you need to create accounts. Here's the general practice area where you can practice as a teacher. Everybody gets uh, teacher's role automatic with editing rights. Later on, if you want to practice admin, let me know why, and then you'll be able to enroll in the course that's coming in July 14, I believe. But you'll find out when you go in there. And, of course, that's it. So let's take a look at, uh, and also questions here. You sign in with a question. Get all your questions up. It's a great way to learn this. Let's go into the practice areas, see what people are doing and how you can see I have to go in as well. That's how everything is password protected. Your email is, Facebook is, Twitter is, LinkedIn is, everything is. So don't come and complain about Moodle if it is. Just be happy that it is. Unless the system changes in the future, which it may, but right now that's how things are. So uh, we go with the flow. All right, so here we are. Videos. Listen to the video. Why not if you have to? So here you can access for the questions. We're going to go into this practice area. Okay, because we want to know what people are doing and how to do it if you're going to be in here. What do you do? Well, first thing you do is, because you're a teacher, turn editing on. Top right. Okay, next. There are section links. Choose a section. And then just play around. It's yours. Okay, but don't forget to turn editing on. So look what happens when I turn editing on. Everything comes. The bulbs turn on, as if it were. Okay, things turn on. And then I'm able to, I hope you'll see it. And here it comes. Look at all those things. You see them? These, if you hover your mouse over, you'll find out what they are. Configure. If you don't know anything about Moodle, just play around. Okay, these are, play around. Get a section, topic. People will help you ask questions. You'll get answers. Have a blast. And that's it. So 1908, we'll see what the number is in a couple of days. Happy Moodling.